Hey guys, if you've ever gotten a cholesterol or lipid report um, and looked at the numbers, um, you may have been confused um, because, well, there's a lot of numbers on there. Um, some of them are numbers that they measure and some of them are numbers that are calculated based upon those measurements. So let me walk you through um, how to interpret these numbers and tell you what's good and bad. When we're talking about cholesterol, more broadly, we're talking about lipids, and that's just kind of a nerdy scientific way to say fat. And there's two types of fat that are circulating your blood. One of them, is course, of course, is uh, cholesterol, and the other type are triglycerides. And you'll see both of these listed uh, in your lipid report in total cholesterol and triglycerides. The main reason that we worry about cholesterol is because if it's high or bad, we increase the chance of heart disease, uh, stroke, cardiovascular disease. And so let's talk first about cholesterol, uh, and then we'll come back to um, triglycerides and talk about it. So you may have heard of some of the different types of, of cholesterol, and you know the most common being HDL and LDL, and, th and those are the kinds that that are measured, and you'll see these measurements. They'll give you an HDL, they'll give you an LDL, and then they'll give you a total cholesterol. And really, the total cholesterol is just the combination of really three main components. The HDL, the good kind, the LDL, the bad kind, and then there's these other kinds of bad cholesterol. There's subtypes of LDL that, that aren't measured, um, and, and we'll talk about that. So your HDL, the highly desirable kind, you want that to be well, basically as high as possible. I, I like everyone's to be over 60, um, but definitely less than 40 is is not a good thing and a, and a marker of really poor fitness. Um, the LDL, in general, you want to be lower. Um, how low? Well, it kind of depends uh, on on what other types of risk factors you you have for cardiovascular disease. Um, but if you're if you have no other risk factors, less than 130 uh, is perfectly acceptable. And and then you know you will get the the total cholesterol. And and there are some guidelines about this. I, I think it's you know less than than 200 is considered you know acceptable um, for most people. But you know I really don't look at the total cholesterol because like I said, it's it's comprised of both good and bad kinds. So it doesn't really tell you the full the full story. Um, and and really the number that I like to look at is what is the total amount of bad kind of cholesterol. And like I mentioned, it's, it's not all measured there, but you can, uh, you know, calculate this, and, and it may be listed on there, but basically you take your total cholesterol, subtract your HDL, your good kind, and what that leaves you is with all, all, all of your bad kinds. And this number is reported as the non h DL cholesterol. And so this number needs to be lower. The lower, the better. And, and how low kind of depends on how many other medical problems um, you may have that increase your chances of, of heart disease. And, and so if you're, if you're totally healthy and you have no other risk factors for such a thing, um, 190 or less um, it is acceptable. Of course, lower is better, but it's acceptable. Um, if you maybe have a couple of them, um, high blood pressure, diabetes, family history, personal history, um, if you have maybe one or two of those, you know, you want to be at 160 or less. And if you have a lot of them, say two, three, four, um, you want the number to be really, really low. So, um, 130 or less. And, and really the, the main point emphasis here is this non HDL number can be improved by one of two ways. You can either raise your HDL, your good kind, or you can lower your bad kind. So let's go back to triglycerides and, and what that really means. These, again, are not cholesterol. It's a different type of lipid. And there actually is still is quite a bit of debate uh, in the medical community about the significance of triglycerides um, as far as a risk factor for you know heart disease. And I think the evidence pretty much shows that in, unless they're above 300 and, and perhaps even, even higher, they're not a great predictor of heart disease. So I really don't become too worried um, in that regard. Um, 
and again, these are these are secondary to me to to your cholesterol numbers. But really, the main thing with triglycerides is if they get really really high, let's say five hundred or higher, a thousand or higher, you can actually uh, get something like pancreatitis, which is which is really really bad and and you don't want. So what's the take home message? Well, with your lipids, if you're only going to follow one number, follow the non HDL and lower is better. And, you know, triglycerides, you don't want them to be really, really high, but uh, they're, they're just not as important as the other cholesterol numbers. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, you can always leave me a message in the video below.